What is up everybody, it is Blake Trout here and I'm here to bring you your very first video for Series 2, uh, a Series 2 team building session. Now, I really thought about doing this and when to do this and I did it, I mean, really it takes a while for stuff like this just to get done, but uh, I feel pretty ready to make this. I mean, you know, overall going over Series 1 was kind of fun actually. It was pretty cool. I mean, for the month that I did it, it was. A lot of variety, a lot of things. We made about six videos the way I wanted. And I feel like I'm gonna make more changes as we go on. But I always did say I was gonna make a team building video for every series near the beginning or around the end. And I thought, ah, let's just do it at the beginning. There's a lot of stuff going on today, for this month at least. So I thought of how I wanted to build a team so far. So I had this nagging feeling to build one based on what I wanted to try out. So let's go to the fresh old fashioned team builder and just make a new team. And let, guess what I'm using? Scizor. So really the only thing that's been crazy, you kind of can see over here, I use Peakalytics. Um, it's, it's pretty fun using this thing. Pretty easy and quick to make a team. Uh, so. You probably know the reason why I'm using Sizzle in the first place, mostly because it's just really, really good. Uh, well, because I like Sizzle, okay? I just had a hankering, a craving just to make one. Plus, uh, Sizzle's pretty good at killing Flutter Mane, since that's the main thing that's been going around. And you kind of can see here, it's a very good thing where it kind of shows you what's been utilized the most. So, you know, Bullet Punch, U-Turn, close combat now what I can do I'm probably gonna go for a band set instead because like you really either had I think Aka Bear. So either choice band or assault vest were your options or clear amulet or safety goggles and I guess safety goggles just to get past the uh, spore the blue bonnet I guess uh, get past that uh, clear amulet of course to get rid of the intimidator factor because that's still a thing. You have Assault Vest, Choice Band. Actually, let me tell you what's crazy. Arcanine is used a lot more now, but you know why, because there's no Incineroar, so it makes sense. So I'm probably gonna go with the Choice Band set anyways. That's because that's the set I'm gonna probably stick with. That just gives us a higher chance of killing things in one shot. U-turn uh, just gives us a decent, great pivot, and close combat to hit, I don't know what, I guess normal types? I forgot what close combat was even used for. You could use Pounce to lower a target speed. It's a decent 50 power move that actually is powered up by Technician. Just like Bullet Punch is, because then Bullet Punch is to a 60 power move that turns into a 90 power move with the increased stab. So that's pretty decent. Decent with that. And just like how Pounce now turns from a 50 power move into a 70 power move. So sorry, 75 power move with um, before the stab, which is pretty good as well. It's also really good at lowering speed. So people either go with either Terra, Blast, Break Break to get rid of the screens, uh, Thief sometimes. I didn't even know this thing gets Tailwind, but it does. <laughs> I learned that right now. Also not a bad idea. I guess Aerial Ace to get rid of other flying types. I mean, I'm probably sure the most common Terras are either flying, water, something else. We're gonna pretty much do, I wanna see how this works and try Terra Blast. So then you have items. I already chose Choice Band. Abilities, Technician, there's no other way to really do it. Uh, light Metal's useless and Swarm, maybe. It helps in the long run of this thing can have staying power. So you got your teammate options here, which I was already down with getting Roaring Moon and Fluttermane. So that's two more. And I was thinking of doing a Sun Team, but I think I'll actually do Pelipper and Garganackle. So that's one, two, three, four. Still one more I can get. So yeah, and this is actually pretty cool because you can see a lot of the teammates here. Hmm. There's still one I'm missing. 
but I guess with Roaring Moon. I was going to do Roaring Moon and Fluttermane. I could do Iron Moth. Actually, wait. Ooh, would Root Bonnet go hard? I'm trying to think what would be good at shutting down Sun if I had to. Because then you could do Fire Moth. And that thing just hits hard with Fire, Poison, Grass, Dark. Pretty nice stuff, right? I'm already kind of considering it. I don't want to have a massive fire issue. But then we already got resistances out the butt. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do Fire Moth. No. I probably should have done Brute Bonnet. Ah. No, Iron Moth is fine. So, yeah. There we go. That's the six we're using. So, then you go to the meta spreads here. Pretty decent spreads. I think Adamant's going to have to do, because I'm not doing Brave, because we're not doing a Trick Room team. Hmm. So, I guess Adamant will have to do. And there we go. Now, we're stuck on an item clause. So, one of these Pokemon is going to have to get an item boost. So let's start on Pelipper, because that one's just easy to work with. So Hurricane, Tailwind, Hydro Pump, and Wide Guard. Very decent moves. Damp Rock would be cool. Wait, does it usually get Focus Sash? No, we'll do Damp Rock instead. I kind of understand why Citrus Berry, because, oh, cool, we'll survive that. And you have abilities. Drizzle, of course. No one uses Keen Eye or Rain Dish, unless someone else is using Rain. Do we have any other Rain Setters? No, this is the only one so far. And trust me, when Politoed ever comes back, if it ever does, probably won't. It, it'll be an afterthought. So, abilities are good. Teammates, we, we aren't even using these. <laughs> and then, I guess, Modest? Ah. I don't know. I'd rather have something that's a bit more defensive. Something I could just set off Tailwind and then we're just golden. But like I said before, I'd rather it be where I'm not focusing or relying on Pelipper to get stronger. And if we're going to get a Sun team, right? Protosynthesis isn't bad either. I feel like I want to have it where I don't have a distinct center with like booster energy, but I'd rather it have something better than But yeah, uh, that's kind of my thought process on it so far. I want to do something a bit more defensive. No, oh, it's something bold. Yeah, something like that will do. And I think for like Scizor, Terra Water is a pretty good idea. So you don't have to do a fire. Uh, okay, and then we got coverage against like, oh, well then what about grass? U-turn. There's a reason why I have it. It's more defensive than it is offensive. That's what it is. We'll do a bold nature with this set combination 84 defense special defense and speed it's just going to take the special hits pretty decently and physically you know it only really loses to rock so you know all that stuff then you have roaring moon actually we'll make that last go to garganacle next you know the typical move that works salt cure recover protect and wide guard i see why iron defense is used but we're not doing that um gonna do leftovers Covert Cloak is good. I think, what does it do? I know, it, I know what it does. It just they prevents secondary effects from happening with attacks. Like, um, like Snarl or, or something else. Or Intimidate or something like that. No, Snarl. So, like, no secondary effects. And the Covert Cloak isn't bad, but I'd rather just do Leftovers. And Paschal Berry's nice. We'll just do, like, Terra Poison. And I guess for Pelipper, Terra Grass or something? You know, and items are good. Purifying Salt, because dear God, it's a good ability. And we already have our teammates set up. Spreads. We'll do this mix of careful nature. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. 
And I think I'll do Terra Poison for Garganapple because it hasn't done me wrong yet. If not, Gar not Poison, maybe, maybe Terra Fire. No, Terra Poison probably is better. Yeah, it's better. So Terra Water, Terra Poison. I'll figure out what I can do with Pelipper for defensive uses, uses later. We're just building here. So we go to the so Garganapple, gets that 100 defense, 156 special defense. Careful nature, takes special hits better. And you know, it's just a very good set. It's simple. It's like an S tier. It's an S tier bond. Like, oh, we can use a Tyranitar. Well, Tyranitar's been A tier for the longest time. Here's your S tier rock type. Here's half the team so far. So, Roaring Moon's another setup. You can do Protect, Acrobatics, Throat Chop, Tailwind, Dragon Dance, Breaking Swipe, Dragon Claw, Jaw Lock. Oh, that's crazy what that does. Ooh, this is going to be confusing. We'll leave it for last. Flutter Mane, yeah. So, I think Shadow, yeah, we'll do the easier ones first. Oh, goodness. Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Protect, and Mystical Fire. I get it why, because with Shadow Ball and Dazzling Gleam, Dazzling Gleam gives us that spread move. We also have 135 speed, so that's pretty hard to beat. Uh, items, Focus Sash, or Life Orb would do. So I'd rather have Focus Sash, because I kind of dabbled a bit with it, and I'd rather start with that instead. If I'm more afraid of, the, of just power, that would work. Then you have abilities, of course, it's Protosynthesis, there's nothing else I can do. And spreads would be this. Um, timid Nature. And there you go. Fluttermane just doesn't miss here. And I think we'll do Terra Fire for Fluttermane. And then you have Roaring Moon and Mirebond left. So yeah, this is a pretty simple team so far. Like I said, this video isn't going to be too long. Or I didn't say before. Just kind of thinking, this is what I'm going to deal with. And, just, and then i got to figure out Terra types for each so far. So Iron Moth. Let's see what it's been typical. So Acid Spray, Sludge Wave, then you have Fiery Dance and Overheat. Should I go all the way out for a Terra Fire Fire Iron Moth? I don't know. But it, look, it has um, 140 special attack and 110 speed. That's really good. I'm just like kind of thinking what other stuff does it have? Well, it has Bug Buzz, but I think if we're sticking with Stab, I guess this is decent. Heat Wave Energy Ball, Acid Spray, so yeah. Yep, that'll do. There are items, could be Booster Energy. I could do Specs. I could do Pasho Berry. Hell, Scarf might be better. Because Scarf would help me out speed. Terra Water. Terra Water what? That would help me out speed Terra Water. And actually, now that I think about it, should I do Terra Grass for the Fire Poison typing? I could. That, that would be a good idea. Focus Ash is already used anyways. I get why Choice Scarf makes sense. You get to outspeed Iron Bundle with that speed and other stuff as well. And you hit hard. I could go and say, let's do a Choice Scarf Modest set. And say, screw Protect, just get a fourth attack. I don't like being stuck into one move. I already have a Choice Band Mon right there. Then you have Life Orb. Choice. Booster Energy I'd rather have on Roaring Moon than anything. So really, I think might do Life Orb. But Pasho Berry makes a lot of sense, too. So for now, I'm going to do Life Orb. For now. And then, of course, abilities to be Quark Drive. Teammates. Oh, cool. Tatsujiri Gondozo with Fluttermate. Ew, ew. Just sounds nasty. So I guess we'll just have to do a Timid set for now. Maybe uh this. Bulky Life Orb user. And then... uh. Yeah, that's what we have to do. Hopefully this works out, I guess. Because you have 140 special attacks, so I'm, I'm not too worried about you not doing that much damage. Uh, yes, the legendary 200. So I love me some Scizor. So who's left? Ah, Roaring Moon. This is going to be glorious. Okay, so... 
the text there. I see acrobatics and acrobatics and throat chop. You also have tailwind. But then again, throat chop does help shut down a uh, hyper voice. So I'll add throat chop at least. Acrobatics, well, we're gonna have booster energy on this thing, so I don't think acrobatics would make sense. And then there's Tailwind. I could do Dragon Dance or Dragon Claw. I mean, Jawlock's cool. And then when I kinda look at the move sets here, at least the ones that have been commonly used so far, I kinda get it. Acrobatics is, well, it's not too hard hitting, but acrobatics does kill a lot of things. But I'm thinking, well then wait, do we touch dark? Steel touch that well? We do. And then with Dragon Claw, that's a powerful stab move, but that might be too simple because, th see this, it's not even used that often. Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw. Breaking Swipe hits both over an attack drop. But I'm giving it booster energy, so I don't know if Acrobatic makes sense. I might use Terra Flying for that to make sense, because then, hey, it doubles again. So we'll stick with that for now. So Dragon Dance or Dragon Claw. I like having three attacks. So yeah. You know, ability is protosynthesis. Item's gonna be booster energy. And spreads. do this and there we go that's the team nicely built if I have to give out Terra's scissors getting Terra water roaring mood getting Terra flying falling rain getting Terra fire I don't know a gargonacle might be Terra poison Terra poison or Terra Terra steel maybe I don't know Terra poison or Terra grass or Terra dark something that's gonna just make me be like all right I'm not worried about grass types I'm not worried about water types so Terra grass probably or Terra water could also be another option uh, iron moth might be Terra grass because that shuts down the whole ground issue so Terra grass would actually be pretty good and then Pelipper would be hmm either full Terra water or something else. So yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, the idea for this team, I guess, is that, oh, we'll use, we'll be anti-sun, even though two out of the three mons, hell, three out of the six would f do great in the sun. Shoot, if it goes terrible, which it might, I might as well say, okay, we'll probably not use Pelipper at all. Actually, we won't be able to use Iron Moth at all. Hmm. So yeah, and I want to think about Protosynthesis with Booster Energy. What would be more powerful? Our speed, or our special, our attack. Right? Actually, we, uh... We do it like this, and do 228 and do 244. Because in that way, our attack power would boost and be one speed point off. So I want to see how that works later on instead. Just to check, just to check, it'd be funny, it'd be a goof. Pelipper might not work out. Because I'm thinking, well, what if I need fire to power to take this thing down? And then I'm like, yeah, that's a good point. But again, I can just not bring Pelipper for a certain purpose. So I'm gonna see how this operates in the, operates in the video. I'll probably do it a couple videos later. We're gonna use a team that I already have pre-built or want to try just so we can understand the meta better, and then, yeah. We should be good and fine. So thanks for watching this video about how lame this could be and how good this could be. I'll make more stuff later on. It's just gonna be a little bit more tighter with how I do my recording sessions, and the content's gonna be much different. 
a little bit different. So, see you guys next time.